really don't know what you've got to smile at, Conor McGregor, because, uh, dude, you just got arrested. <laughs> up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd where i break down the true crime story of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness another running with the law conor mcgregor really dude it's like at this point in his life i don't think he can help himself what the do's happen this time i'm gonna break it all down for you in a moment uh, before i do so though just a little bit of housekeeping firstly youtube human reviewer I see you watching. I ain't going into much detail, just a little bit of an overview of what happened. And to everyone else, if you haven't done so already and you love true crime on the daily, served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, basically this, right? Make sure the next thing you do is you smash the hell out of that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And let's jump into it, shall we? So, yeah, as the title of this video suggests, uh, Conor McGregor got arrested in his £140,000 Bentley on a Dublin motorway last night, as of the date of this recording, which is the 23rd of March. So he was arrested last night, which was the 22nd of March. So the Irish MMA star is understood to have been pulled over by Gardai, which... I might have mispronounced that again. Me and pronunciations. We're not best friends, are we? Uh, while traveling to the gym along the N4 between Lucan and Palmerstown on Tuesday, the 22nd of March. His supercar was seized, but has since been handed back to him, reported the Irish Independent. I tell you some £140,000 car. Hell yeah, they'd have to hand that back. They ain't keeping that. No way, no way. Oh my goodness, I would cry. I'd cry if someone took away a car of mine that was worth 140,000 pounds. Oh my goodness. To be fair though, for Conor McGregor, that's probably like spare change in his pocket, to be fair, but that's just by the by. Uh, the 33 year old was charged with dangerous driving and is due to appear at Blanchardstown District Court next month. Uh, here he is, uh, with the £140,000 Bentley. Oof. Do you know what? i tell you something. That Bentley is looking fly. It's looking flush. Look at those curves on the Bentley. Yeah, I don't care about Conor McGregor. Like, he can just do one. I, I, I could just look at that car all day and be like... Uh, like proper Homer Simpson, like, uh, like, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness, that car looks tasty. Oh my goodness, and look at the grills. Oh, they look monstrous, but in like the best way possible, right? Who knew you'd be watching a video <laughs> where all of a sudden I turn absolutely like gaga for a car? But there you go. I'm your nerdy alternative. Is what happens sometimes, right? You get what you get. So a spokeswoman for McGregor told Mail Online, Mr. McGregor was driving to the gym when he was stopped uh, for alleged road traffic violations. He passed all the tests taken at the station and uh, the Garda spokesman, which is um, Irish version of police, uh, confirmed that a man was arrested in relation to the incident and taken to Lucan Garda Station. He has since been released. I like how they say that a man was arrested when it's literally common knowledge, like the cat's out of the bag, the, the secret's out. We know it's Conor McGregor, so you might as well just now confirm. Yep, yeah, Conor McGregor, he was arrested. Allegedly, he was being an idiot on the road, so we collared him, we banged him up, uh, we took his car temporarily, but, you know, now we are. We're at where we're at. You know what I mean? Seriously, you're just going to say a man? Might as well just say it's Conor McGregor, because everyone knows now. I mean, come on, dude. Uh, in a statement, the police service said, uh, Guard, I arrested a man aged in his 30s in relation to an incident of dangerous driving in the Palmerstown area yesterday evening, Tuesday, 22nd of March, 2022. The man was taken to Lucan, uh, Garda Station, where he was later charged. He has been released pending an appearance before Blanchardstown District Court at a later date. 
And here he is, uh, presumably, uh, in that absolutely awesome, sexy as hell, uh, Bentley. Uh, I would definitely be having that kind of smile on my face if I was driving a beauty of a machine like that, I have to admit. Um, McGregor is currently on the comeback path and hasn't fought since losing against Dustin Poirier back in July last year, a fight which saw him break his leg in his third defeat in four matches. Oof. Now, I know it gets brutal with those kind of matches, but, ooh, like, leg breaking. Ooh, uh, like, ooh, uh. Do you know what I mean? It just gives you all kind of, like, the not nice kind of icky feels. Ooh, it's like nails on a chalkboard. There you go. Just like that, guys. Uh, the notorious uh, former two-weight world champion is expected to return to the octagon later this year and has vowed to fight again for a world title despite losing his last two bouts. Although the date and opponent when he returns has not yet been confirmed, McGregor is reportedly keen to face the winner of the Justin Gaethje versus Charles Oliveira fight in May. Uh, with a mooted return in early July. I've probably butchered those names, but, you know, what the douche, right? <laughs> I try my best. At least I try. You know what I mean? I'm very trying. I know that. However, right, this is what gets me gut. This is what grinds me gears. This is what absolutely knocks me the deuce off, right? that some famous people, wealthy, whatever, right? They've got power, they've got money, this, that, and the other. They don't feel like they're on this earth anymore. They don't feel like they're in our reality anymore. They feel like they're above it. Uh, they're above the law. They can do what they want, you know, this, that, and the other, right? Now, I'm not saying that Conor McGregor is like this. All I'm saying is people like that, Grind me gears because they think they can do what the hell they want. Speed, uh, break the law, do what they want without any consequence whatsoever because they could just throw enough money at it for it to go away. Do you know what I mean? And nine times out of ten, unfortunately, yeah, they throw enough money at it and uh, they get away with it. Jossie Smollett. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And so... They live their life as if, like, the law of the land don't apply to them anymore. Because it gets to their head. The money, the fame, the power. And time and time again, you see the same famous, the same rich people come up in the headlines being like, oh, dude got arrested for this. Dude got arrested for that. What's their uh, punishment in the end of the found guilty? A freaking slap on the wrist and a 500 pound fine, which to be fair, when you're a gazillionaire, that's less than bl uh, bloody uh, pocket change. Do you know what I mean? It's more like, uh, I don't know, a penny. Uh, a penny in the pocket. A, pe a penny that they found down uh, the sofa. Do you know what I mean? Like, dude, I'm absolutely like, do you know what? This is what I predict with Conor McGregor, right? In terms of this offence, right? Uh, he's going to get a slap on the wrist and he's going to get fined, like, the equivalent of a penny for him. That is what I predict. Steffi Damas is here, put in a prediction right now. He, he, he ain't going to get a punishment, basically, that's actually really, really, really going to make him feel something. And guess what? Do you know the likelihood of him re-offending again, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. High. 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 It's higher than the freaking sky. I'll tell you that right now. What do you guys think? Let me know. Sound off with your gobs down below in the comments. And if you haven't done so already and you love true crime on the daily surf with a little bit of gob and sassiness, basically this right then before you go make sure you smash the hell out of that subscribe button like share comment all of that good stuff and until the next time you guys laters